Bald eagles are one of North America's largest birds of prey. They have a wingspan of almost two meters. Once endangered, they have made an amazing comeback. And it's possible to see bald eagles almost anywhere in North America, except perhaps in the desert and on the open tundra. This video is going to take a look at the way they fly and how they use their feathers. Let's see that video again in slow motion. Watch how the eagle uses its feathers now. Freeze! Let's declutter the picture a bit. There we go. And now let's just take a look at the feathers. There are all sorts of feathers. Pointy ones, stiff ones, feathers on the legs, feathers on the head, and feathers for the back and the wing. And each type of feather has a specific type of roll. As you watch this eagle feeding on the ground, look at the way the feathers overlap. You notice that the tail feathers are stiff and unbending. Notice that the feathers at the end of the wings, the wingtips, are longer, while the feathers towards the top of the wing are much smaller. Now take a look at the feathers at the back. And notice that little line that seems to go down the feathers. We're going to take a closer look at that. See how the eagle uses its wings to grab air and push it upwards. Here he comes again in slow motion. There he is breaking, feet out, landing. In order to understand how feathers work, let's draw them. I start with the central shaft, or the rachis, and on either side you draw in the barbs. On one side of the flight feather, the barbs are much wider than on the other. And this is the secret of the flight feather. We'll show you how that works in a moment. Then there's the feathers that cover the body. These are contour feathers. The rachis goes up the center, and the barbs are almost equal distance on both sides. The other feather that is found on most birds is a feather that's designed for warmth. You know it is down. It's a feather that is very loosely packed. The barbs do not lock together and are almost like hairs. And then there's a sort of feather that is almost like a hair. It doesn't have any barbs at all, and it tends to lie flat. The flight feathers are the feathers at the end of the wing. They look like fingers. The contour feathers overlap each other. They are designed to keep the bird warm and to waterproof it. You can't see the downy feathers. The hair-like feathers are often found on the head, and they are more common on flightless birds, such as the ostrich. Now watch as I move this hawk feather up and down. This is a flight feather. See how it twists? It grabs the air coming down, but resists the air going up and turns and lets the air through. This gives the bird lift. Now this is a contour feather. It does not turn at all. Well, let's watch this in real time. Now you take a look at the eagle. You see if you can identify the feathers. Look for the ratchets. And then finally, just wonder at this magnificent bird and be thankful it's making a return to our skies.